you your new purchase, the KCO CW11 typewriter. Um, it came with the original owner's manual. It came with three stacks of thermal paper. Now you're going to need that because this typewriter does not have the uh, ink cartridge that these machines need to type or print in ink. Um, and I don't think these are going to be easy to get anymore. Um, from what I can find on the, here you go. Um, from what I can find, doing some research, these machines were made in the early to mid 90s. It does have the go handle which is underneath here. It doesn't seem to have the lid. I don't know if these things come with the lid. I presume they did. Um, so it doesn't seem to be featured in the owner's manual. I was going to film this with my high quality DSLR, but I'm afraid the battery was dead, so forgive the low quality video. Um, here's some specifications. It has 57 plus 12 control keys for a keyboard, a 15 character LCD. Um, print method is thermal dot matrix 16 by 24, which is why you'll be able to use this without ink. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, the print capacity is uh, in FICA 80 characters per line, in Elite 96 characters per line, uh, one time heat transfer or cartridge, uh, planar thermal paper, of course, plain you'll need the, the cartridge there, but uh, this will work too. It has quite the trans power transformer. This is the power transformer, and if you compare that to my hands, um, I, my, my, the one for my laptop computer from 12 years ago was smaller than that. Um, this, you know, takes in the uh, AC 120 volts uh, input, and then the output is 4.5 volts DC at 2 amps. So, it does draw quite a bit of power, because that little space heater over there draws 2.1 amps, just to keep that in mind. But uh, it is a funky little machine. I've had a chance to toy with it a little bit, and I, I'm surprisingly fond of it. So, um, I hope you don't mind me using one of these thermal papers and I'll show you how it works so if you pop the lid here you'll see that there is no ink cartridge um, this is quite flimsy so be careful with that because these are not hinged in um, clip on so half the time this doesn't sit right and you got to make sure that pops down uh, there isn't really a platen that the paper feeds through you use this roller gear to press down and then um, Turn the opposite way of what you would usually do on a typewriter. Here's the LC display with the uh, 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 contrast control, print mode, line space, underline style, left margin, right margin, and so forth. There are the tab sets and clears. Uh, it's actually quite conventional. It's easy to understand. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, plugged in already in my extension cord over there. Let's turn this on and see what it does. I got it in print mode right now, so I'll get this over. Make sure there you use the thermal side of the page, not both um, R. And I was typing on it earlier, couldn't figure out why it wasn't printing until I discovered I was using the wrong side of the page. I'm just gonna put it down here. I need two hands to install this piece of paper. There we go. There we are. An angle going here. Down. I'm not sure how well this is going to come out um, 
on this video, but it does type straight and true. Um, you've got to be careful that you don't actually type too fast. These are not capable of great speed, and what will happen is the uh, memory will get backed up, um, and it will take a while for the carriage or the, the um, type elements to print the text you're typing, and either you will miss a margin and it will just disregard whatever you typed before you hit enter, or it will start bunching up words because I presume it can't remember what you were typing, so that's what happened here. Um, it has the typical um, point of sale system typeface, which I quite enjoy. You can definitely see the dot matrix element in this type, and, and that's a character. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's very dated, but uh, it works, you know? So I think you'll have fun with this knowing you. This is something that. Uh, some interesting projects and see what you can type with it. These rolls of thermal paper I have kicking around, I probably should give them to you as well because I have no use for them and you're welcome to have them if I can find them because they will go with this machine and all I would have to do is make a bracket that the roll will sit on the back. You can just continually type like, you know, dot ma or uh, continuous dot mat matrix or printer paper. But, um, yeah, and like I said, owner's manual, an unopened pack of thermal paper sold by Grand and Toy. An opened pack of paper here that I just nabbed a piece off to show you how it works. And then another open pack of Brother A4 thermal paper. Um, I'm thinking actually this might go with that. Anyways, I hope you enjoy your purchase. I certainly have in the past five minutes, so.